Good afternoon. A big weather pattern change is coming by the middle to the end of January, which will trigger big time Arctic outbreaks potentially for the Midwest, for the Northern Plains and the Great Lakes, followed by a risk for very heavy snowfall and big snowstorms across much of the deep south, the southeast, and even for the eastern seaboard and out across the northeast. So in this update, who's going to get impacted and how big will the impacts actually be for your location, we'll be discussing and breaking that down in today's update. So now let's take a look here at what this means when it comes to a precipitation forecast. So putting this into motion, you can see um, big trough sets up here, but we have to be careful with what goes on down here in the Gulf. If we get a system that rides along the coast here and then pivots up into the Northeast, that's where we get big time nor'easters, extreme snowstorms, strong winds and colder temperatures. So that's what we'll be watching is this big storm right in here. Does this get much closer to the coast and bring a lot of snow here across the southeast into the eastern seaboard and the northeast we don't know just yet because this is about eight to nine days out from occurring and there's a lot of uncertainties this far out in time you can clearly see um, the 06z gfs model wanted a nor'easter for the northeast during the same time frame the 0z run from last night wanted even a bigger snowstorm look at this so yeah, we really do have to watch this pattern this far out in time for the potential for this system to evolve and just how close it gets will be a lot that we don't know about just yet. But look, there's a second one that does try to develop here and bring more significant snow for the Great Lakes into the Northeast around the nine to 10 day time frame. So with this very amplified pattern, big ridge out West, big trough out uh, in the Midwest and the East, this is where we get a lot of problems, okay? So that is something that we will be watching in days to come, and then it doesn't look like it's gonna end anytime soon, followed by more snowstorms potentially, and on this model, wants an ice storm for the Midwest and the Deep South. 